Hi everybody, this is Celeste with the Chibitronics design team. Today I want to share an idea that I've been tinkering with recently, and that idea is making these multimedia paper circuit collages out of materials like contact paper, Chibitronics paper circuit materials, and just miscellaneous craft materials. One thing I love about this process is that there's not a plan. Sometimes I've made paper circuit projects where I have to plan out the circuit in advance and it has to be really specific the way that things are laid out and put together so that everything works the way I want it to. But with this, I'm not doing that. I'm just responding to the collage, responding to the materials, and just figuring things out as I go along. If you want to follow along and make your own collage, here are some materials that might be helpful to gather. You'll need some conductive fabric tape, a coin cell battery, some Chibitronics LED stickers, I'm using the animating LEDs here, miscellaneous craft materials like magazine cutouts, tissue paper, stickers, whatever you have handy, scissors, glue, that sort of thing. And then of course you will need some contact paper. In this video, instead of showing you step by step how to make the things that I'm making, I'm just going to give you a glimpse of my process as I make one mini collage, and hopefully that will spark some ideas for you. I like to start this process just by gathering my materials, maybe cutting out some new materials, and then starting to bring them together, starting to arrange them into different layerings and different compositions to see what I like best. And after I've found something that I'm happy with, then I'll get out my sheets of contact paper. So what I did before this video is I cut down my sheets of contact paper into smaller squares because that's the size and shape that I wanted for this collage. Now once you're ready to start building your first collage layer, take your piece of contact paper and peel the backing off of it. Then I like to put the non-sticky side of the contact paper down onto my work surface. The sticky side should now be facing up. And with the sticky side facing up, you can start to layer your collage elements onto it and stick them on there. And I know that I want at least one LED on this first collage layer here, so I'm going to just pick a place to put my Chibitronics LED sticker, mark it, and then get my conductive fabric tape and lay down a couple of traces. I put my LED on top of those conductive tape traces, and then I'll grab my battery and just give it a quick test to make sure that everything is working the way I want it to. And you'll notice that I didn't cut my conductive fabric tape. I left quite a bit of extra fabric tape off of the end there because I know that I'm going to make another layer of my collage and that I want to add another LED in there. So I want to give myself extra tape so I can add another LED on the next layer without breaking my circuit. Once I'm happy with this first layer and I'm sure that my circuit is working, I'm going to take another piece of contact paper, peel the backing off, and stick that over top of my first collage layer. That's going to seal that first layer into place, and then I'm ready to build the next layer. I also like to test my circuit every time I make a change like this just to make sure that I'm not going wrong. Okay, so I know I want another LED on the next layer of my collage, so I'm not even planning it, which is so nice for a change to not have to overly plan a circuit. But I'm just going to take my paper circuit tape, my conductive fabric tape, and bring it up roughly in the area that I think I want that next LED to go. And then I'll do the same thing with the other side of my circuit tape. So I'll bring that tape up, make sure that I'm not touching the other piece of tape, and I will create some space to add my next sticker. Then I will take my Chibitronics LED sticker, place it onto my circuit, and give it a quick test to make sure it's working. Now I'm going to get started on the next layer of my collage. So I'm just repeating the same process that I did for the first layer picking up some items, arranging them, rearranging them, seeing where I want all of the pieces to go. And here, I actually don't even bother to glue or to tape down any of these elements. I just sort of place them roughly where I want them to go, and I'll use my next layer of contact paper to stick everything in place. And I think here I figured out that centering the contact paper over the center of the collage and pressing down from the center outwards helps prevent any any bubbles that pop up in the contact paper. And again, I'm always testing, always testing my circuit to make sure that I didn't break anything, and it looks like it's still working, so all is well, and I'm headed on to the next step. 
So this is still a work in progress. I'm still figuring out how to make these collages. And one thing that I haven't quite figured out is a good way to attach the battery. So for now, what I'm doing is I'm just leaving off quite a bit of conductive fabric tape on the end there. I fold over the conductive fabric tape so that the sticky is facing inside. And then I just, I just let them hang out there and I'll place my battery in the correct orientation and I'll just hold it with my fingers or use a little clip to hold the battery there. So perhaps making another battery holder or a better battery holder is in the future, but this works for now. You might have some messy edges that you want to clean up when you're all done with your collage. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just trimming and sort of shaping the edges of my collage. Just make sure that you don't make the same mistake I did and accidentally cut off some of your conductive fabric tape. If that happens, it's not a big deal. You can just gently peel up those layers of your contact paper and patch the circuit, but just try not to do it in the first place. So this is how that collage turned out, and I loved it. It was one of my favorite little collages that I made. But I want to quickly show you a couple of other things that I tried. I had a lot of fun getting creative with these materials, and after I made some basic collages, I started playing with things like making buttons out of contact paper, conductive fabric tape, and foil. So you can see here that I actually made a little press switch out of this sandwich of contact paper, uh, some aluminum foil that's exposed there in the middle and then these little foam cubes that are adhesive so it makes this pressure switch when you press it those pieces of exposed foil in the middle touch the circuit closes and I've connected that to another collage that I made so that I can turn on the light. Another thing I had some fun exploring was the idea of layering collages together to create an illusion of depth or to give the collages a little bit of extra dimension. So in this pond scene here what I did was I made one base layer that had some watery blue white LEDs incorporated into it and then I made another layer of that pond scene that was supposed to be the surface of the pond and I played with moving that layer closer or further away from that base layer to see how that changed the way that the lights were shining through. So, so this is where I'm going to leave you. I showed you my process as I made a collage. I showed you some different ideas and techniques that I'm exploring, and I hope that this sparks some new ideas for you, whether you want to go make your own mini collage or just borrow some elements of what I showed and incorporate it into your next Chibitronics paper circuit project.